you get in trouble, you can use your spurs. <laughs> we'll do our best. Gents, what do you got? I've got queens. Three of them. Each me. Ain't been having much luck, stranger. Poker in life, gents. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Fate does the dealing and all the laughing. <laughs> Granny down, boys. You dropped the death card, kid. You reckon fate had a hand in that? Who can tell? Me? I'm superstitious about the black ace. And I'm just curious. Why don't you give the boys back the house deck? They might want to play a while. I didn't stop by your office, Bill. You know I never carry a gun. Anyway, I was just passing through. Well, keep going, kid. You and Fate are synonymous. I should have called it a day when I saw the death card on the floor. Well, I'm glad I saw you anyway. I can't say I'll be glad to meet up with you again. So long, boys. Take his kid always clips his aces. You have the chance with him once he switches decks. Why don't you lock him up, Marshal? Well, I kind of like the kid. And that white horse came from San Jacinto. How come? Every blacksmith writes his name with his forge and hammer. Horseshoes are, well, they're just like that newfangled fingerprint system. Hammer Joe Bean made the shoes on that horse. And I figured just a few days ago. Takes hard riding to get from San Jacinto in three days. A white horse and the death card. Well, anyway, they say white horses are lucky. Hey, just a minute. You fellas being strangers in Blue Gap probably don't know the rules. Take a look at that sign back there. Sorry, mister, I can't see that far. Too bad about your failing eyesight. If your education's any better than your partner, tell him what it says on that sign. It says something about checking your guns with a fella called Bill Carson. Well, I'm Carson, so if you're aiming to ride into Blue Gap, toss me your six shooters. We're not giving our guns to anyone. We'll meet you again under different circumstances.
I take my customary refreshment every day at the miner's roof at 12 o'clock. Marshal, you made a date. It ain't like you, Bill, to invite trouble that way. Well, three strangers and a white horse all the same day kind of intrigues me. I knew I should warn you. I've had a sign, amigo, but now I'm too late. Stumps me how she does it, Bill. But Dolores' signs don't lie. I'm a keeping that date with you. No, I'll keep that appointment alone. There's going to be a shoot at high noon. Where? Over the miner's roof. Mike and Bill's got a shooting date at Miner's Roost. When? At noon. Oh, let's get out of here. Same thing. Glad to see you, boys. You fellas from San Jacinto? Yeah. yeah. Who hired you to gun me down? Why, I, uh, what are you aiming to do? Plant you and your boots up on the hill if you don't talk. Was it that fellow on the white horse? How, how do you know? Because I figure he came from San Jacinto, too. Yeah, that's where we were going to get our pay. Providing you shot me, eh? Well, this date was on the level, so I'm turning you loose. But you better clear out of the state, because the next time I see you, you're going to get hurt. Mister, there ain't going to be no next time. Then clear out. you missed, Bill. I didn't exactly miss. I was just saving those fellows. I thought I might get some information out of them. And did you figure it right? I reckon. My contract's up here, and at the end of the week, you can have my job, Jeff. But, Bill, I... Oh, save your breath. I'm hankering to get better acquainted with a fellow that rides a white horse. And they say white horses are lucky. You there? Where are you heading? Fate only knows, and she won't tell. 
Anyway, I'm in no particular hurry to get there. I've been hoping our trail would cross again after seeing your exhibition in Miner's Roost. And seeing Lightning Bill Carson run me out of town. If you're open to a deal, all of my deals are misdeals. Misdeals leading to a little profit, eh? I reckon you can forget about Bill Carson from now on. Meaning what? Meaning Bill Carson just don't appreciate your talents. And Stack Stone will. He'll stake you for a split in San Alcinto. Stranger, I can use a little money. I hope, Senor Mount, that we shall have good news from Blue Gap. Uh, and I'm hoping, too, that Lightning Bill Carson don't turn us down. Uh, Tom, give me a copy of that letter we sent to Bill Carson. Silent Tom Rand always makes a copy of everything he writes for me on that newfangled gadget. Bill Carson sent his reply by mail, figuring that it would beat our messenger. I'll go see. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Stack. You sent for me, Mr. Mount? Yes. What do you suppose is delaying Breed Hawkins? I'm not worrying, gents. Three days each way between here and Blue Gap. Hard riding, too. Breed will be here. Can I come in? Well, did you see Bill Carson? I did. Well, out with it, man. What did he say? He told me he wasn't interested. Maybe your letter to Lightning Bill wasn't strong enough, Mr. Mount. I told him to name his own salary. That's sure tough. For you, Mr. Costello. The Pony Express. Well, maybe I was right. Maybe Bill did use the mail. This is not from him, senors. This is from my daughter, Dolores. Uh, we'll be going. See you later. I hope Don Costello, Bill Carson's refusal won't change your mind about settling in San Jacinto County. My mind has been changed for me, amigo. I would have left for Blue Gap at once, but my daughter writes that she is following her letter. Good. Good or bad, who knows? <laughs> Tough luck, kid. Lady Luck's a thick name. Easy come, easy go. Cut him. Just hunt and see your guard. All right, gentlemen, what have you got? I've got a full house. Three jacks on per six. Beats me. All right, fast. Gentlemen, I've got Queen. Four of them. I've got eight. One, two, three. And four. Who's that talking to the sheriff? Silent Tom Rand. Is 
he ever come in here? Him? No. He never cuts loose. What do you do, kid? I'll pass. See you, Tom. It's been an awful long time. Well, make yourself at home, boy. Come on, sit down. Will you have some homemade pie? My old landlady made it. Well, you always liked apple pie. The little kid that used to like apple pie is dead, Tom. Only the Pecos kid lives now. Anyway, I've had my supper. How did you find me, Fred? Are you in trouble? Sharing my troubles brought you to this mangy town. I ruined your career. Forget it, Fred. I didn't trade you here. Honest, I didn't. I met a man by the name of Breed Hawkins, who introduced me over at the palace. After lightning, Bill Carson run me out of Blue Gap. Oh, I know the breed. He was sent to Blue Gap with a letter for Bill Carson. I saw you on the street today, and I, I just couldn't help wanting to talk to you, but... Uh, fair oh, don't go, Fred. Don't worry about me, Tom. I'm ditching these cards for good, and I'm going to follow the sun. Maybe this might interest you. I typed that. Where's the rest of it? Breed Hawkins never delivered that letter. He tore it up. I picked that up on the trail. of the badges. We've been appointed deputies to guard Mount's money. Good. Don't let that stagecoach get out of Corpus Christi Pass. And don't leave any evidence. Do not worry, senor. We won't. What's your hurry? Oh, I'm hitting the trail on this town. Don't do anything in a hurry, kid. Stack will be back in a couple of hours. How about a drink? None now. Come on, you need one. While you're waiting. All right. Keeping Corpus Christi Pass between the stage and the sheriff. Take care of the guard. The rest is fixed. Don't see any bad signs. Things being what they are. I won't be easy until that stage gets into center center. That looked like Breed Hawkins' pony. You might trail him, Sam. Meet me this side of Corpus Christi's Pass. Stage is due there in about... about an hour. All right.
through the head and never even move the heart. Not bad. The trouble with you, kid, is you drink too much. And I've proved I'm your friend by letting you hide out here? Yeah, I know, I know. Stack Stone wouldn't like that. How long is it going to be before you get off that bender? Well, I'm done thinking. the back. We mustn't leave any signs in the past. <laughs> I came in that way, and I'm going out that way. I got on my way. Good. The Pecos kid. And he won't remember a thing when he sobers up. Everything's all right, Jack. Watch your hurry, kid. Get out of my way. I want to get out of here. You're going to keep me in here. Stop that gun. I want to take a look around with you, Breed. Sheriff will run you down for this. Sam Bates was like a son to him. I had to do it. He was trailing me. What's the fakest kid doing here? You figured on hightailing it someplace. I had to talk him into staying here. Figured we shouldn't lose his easy pickings. You certainly messed things up. Come on. Yeah. Wake up. Come on, kid. Wake up. Wake up. You're in trouble, kid. Yeah, plenty of trouble. You shouldn't have gone on that bender. Now, where are your friends? They're breeding me. You've got to clear out. We're forgetting what we saw. 
So long, kid. Good luck to you. We separate here, Breed. You're not going to ditch me. You're leaving the state, understand? See me tonight and I'll give you some money. That suits me right down to the ground. Don't let anyone else see you in San Jacinto. I thought you was dead. Which proves you did hire those fellows to frame me in a gunfight. Now hand me over that gun. Lucky thing for you, that gun hasn't been fired. Now turn around and lead the way into San Jacinto. What have I done? What are you hounding me for? I just want to find out if white horses are lucky. Mr. Malton. Two good men have buzzed me. Well, I had money coming to me in that box, Sheriff. How did it happen? It happened the other side of Corpus Christi Pass. A big mass band run off our ponies. Why, we didn't have a chance. That settles it. I'm off to Blue Gap in the morning. I'm going to bring Lightning Bill Carson here. I wish you luck, Mr. Mount. I'll take care of the sea. changing stamping grounds. Meaning just what? Meaning Banker Mount sent a letter to you doubling your pay if you come to San Jacinto. I didn't get any letter. It was that calling card you sent the brought me. I sent? I saw a set of shoes on a white horse that I knew couldn't have been made by anybody but you. And which same was wrote by Breed Hawkins here who brought back word that you turned down the offer. Does this Hawkins work for the banker? Shucks, no. He's one of Stack Stone's men. I wouldn't be saying too much if I was you. What this town needs is a boot hill. And according to my reckoning, the Breed and Stone would be the first to rest in peace under their boots. We might start a boot hill here most any time, Joe. You reckon like me and Bill Carson and listen to Mount? Well, if he does, I want my split pronto. I'm clearing out. Bill Carson, otherwise known as Lightning Bill, has shot his last bolt. From rumors I hear, I think Mr. Mount will have to do his talking to him in the cemetery. Hey, you! Lightning Bill Carson! Breed Hawkins lying to me. I want you boys along when the breed keeps a date with me tonight.
Here's Lightning Bill Carson. Well, I was planning on starting for you in the morning, Mr. Carson. We are glad, amigo. And perhaps my little daughter Dolores will be surprised. I don't think I understand, Don Castillo. I, I just received word from her about Pony Express. She is on her way to San Jacinto. I was afraid that my letter wasn't strong enough. It was something the messenger said that decided me to come. The messenger discussed the letter with you when he delivered it then, eh? Well, it amounts to that, I reckon. Stack, you're talking to Lightning Bill Carson. I already guessed that he was the well-known marshal. Um, Mr. Stone runs the palace. How are you? And I have plenty of other heavy investments that need protection. We've had this contract waiting for you some time, Mr. Carson. I answer quick when you call me Bill. Well, Bill, name your own salary and sign on the dotted line. Not so fast, Mr. Mount. I'd like a private conversation with the sheriff before I give you any decision. In the meantime, I see an old friend of mine over on that stool. I'll see you in your office later, Sheriff. All right, Bill. Tom. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I'm staying in Santa Cinder tonight. Maybe you and I can get together and have a talk after supper. I live just outside of town, Bill. Anyone will tell you where. Fine. I'll see you at night. Sit down, Bill. Simon Tom Rand's a funny galoot, ain't he? I can remember when he was a hide riding buckaroo with a bright future. The future's all behind him now, I reckon. Recognize that six shooter? Yeah. That belongs to my deputy, Sam Bates. I gave it to him. He's dead. I found him in an old shack, killed by a slug from his own gun. I'll get the fellow that done that, if it's the last thing I do. I play hunches, like following a white horse, for instance. And I have a hunch you'll find that money chest near the spot where I found Sam Bates. I ain't interested in loot now. Finding the loot isn't finding the outlaws. I'll just let things rest easy for a while, because I think I know who they are. You can think what you like. I am with the fellow that killed Sam Bates. Are you alone? Yes. I just had to come back, Tom. I'm hurt. Well, come right over here and sit down. Pull down the shades first, will you? Lock that door, too. What happened? What have you done? You know my limits, just cheating at cards. What have you done? I haven't done anything since Lightning Bill Carson run me out of Blue Gap. Bill Carson's coming here tonight. What's he doing here in Santa Cena? Bill's an old friend since before. He swore to run me out of Texas. I tell you, he trailed me here. I should never have dealt in the palace. Oh, forget it. He'll help you if I ask him. Here, let me take your boots off so you can get some rest. Get me out of here. Bill. Hello, Tom. Oh, Bill. Well, still the same old Tom. Always a lot of books around, eh?
El Vengador de Corpus Christi. The Avenger of Corpus Christi, eh? Yes. An old Spanish legend of early Texas. Of a man who, because of injustice, took the law into his own hands. No man has the right to do that. I've been wondering what became of this letter. I was wondering why you quibbled with the truth at the bank today. You never did receive John Mount's letter. And would you mind telling me how this half of it came into your possession? I found it on the street. I'm coming clean with you. That's why I made this date tonight. I trust the sheriff, but I can't tell him everything yet. And I trust you right down the line. Now, I want some information. I want you to make me out a list of men you can trust and keep it confidential. Well, I'll be glad to. Baker's kid could beat that game sweet and pretty. I saw the kid dealing at the palace. I heard you ran him out of Blue Gap. I'll have to run him out of Santa Santa too, if I stay here. And that grub stake him if he was broke. I wish I didn't like that fake kid. But even he couldn't win with that deck of yours, Tom. You're shy and ace. The ace of spades. The best you'd do is run him out of town, then? Maybe the kid and I are the same under the skin. Both like a good horse between our knees, a long trail ahead, wind in our face. He packs a cold egg, and I'm a marshal. The worst I do for cheating is run him out of town. Now, are you going to call him out, or am I going to have to get him? I found this where you dropped the deputy's gun. So it was you. Oh, you heard what Bill said. He won't be too hard on you. Bill's talking about card cheats. I'm wanted for murder. What's he to you? Don't tell him, Tom. He's my brother. I'd never seen that white horse. I only bring trouble to anybody that's fool enough to like me. Why'd you do it, kid? I was drunk. My mind was all muddled. I started out and someone hit me. I was dazed. Then I collided with the deputy. He hit me again. I guess we fought. That's all. How'd you get out there? Who was with you? No dice, Bill. 
I'm cashing in my chips without any squawks. Sure you're thinking of Tom? I'm asking you to forget what he told you tonight. I'm forgetting it. But maybe you'll tell me how you got that letter I found in Tom's book. Sure, why not? Reed Hawkins tore it up. I found a scrap of paper on the trail out of Blue Gap. Thanks. I don't need this anymore. I've got another one. I was coming to get you, Sheriff. I just brought in the fakest kid. Yes, I know. I was listening at the door. He killed Sam Bates. He's trying to cover up. I'm hoping to get him to come clean. I ain't interested in your hopes. Being we ain't got no regular courts in these parts, Banker Mount will act as judge and 12 gents will listen to what I tell them. Now, don't get in a hurry. I need that kid. And I ain't got no use for him at all. I'll see you in the morning. I'll be right here. I'll see you hanging from dead man's tree by noon tomorrow. What are you boys doing here? Oh, we saw your light, and as we're heading back to the Bar W Roundup, figured we could save time by turning in our badges tonight. All right. Here's your pay for three days special duty. Thanks. Sorry there wasn't much good during the holdup. We did not have a chance. If you need any help, Sheriff, you know where to find us. Here's some money for your friend, Stack Stone. Now, don't worry, he's not hurt bad. Do you know where Corpus Christi Pass is? Yeah. Head for it. You can hide there till tomorrow night. And if you're smart, you'll hide by day and ride by night. Now, hi, Taylor. That's right. They've been with me all night at the palace. What's up? I had the Pecos kid in irons. Somebody knocked me out and turned him loose. What did he do, Sheriff? He killed Sam Bates. I'm guessing who slugged you. Breed Hawkins brought the kid to San Jacinto. And last night, the Breed was working up a fighting jag. It ought to be easy to trail the Breed if you're sure he was in San Jacinto. He was here all right. I saw him. I'd have warned you if I'd have known you was holding the Pecos kid for murder. He and the Breed was pals. I'm organizing the posse of those that want to see justice done. I'm forgetting about the Bar W Roundup. I'm riding with you. So will I. And I shall go too, Senor. How about you, Bill? I'm staying. I'm staying with Bill. All right, boys, get your horses. I think we'll pick him up in Corpus Christi Pass. I can't figure your play, Bill. Stone was lying when he said he saw Breed Hawkins in town last night. How do you know? Because I got the Breed hog tied and bedded down in my cellar ever since Bill delivered him to me. Sit down, Stack. I'll be back in a minute.
I can't wait any longer. I've got to count up at the palace. Take it easy. Mount will be back pretty soon. You okay? I've arrested Breed Hawkins. What did he say? Uh, I mean, what did he do? You lied to me about seeing him last night because I took him in yesterday. Yes? You know I'm for law and order, and I don't lie. We know that. I heard the Pecos kid telling Lightning Bill Carson how he killed Sam Bates. Must we go through the motion of a trial in San Jacinto? You can get a jury here as well as the sheriff. All right. Well, do you just step forward to be sworn in? Why did you send Breed Hawkins to have me killed in Blue Gap? That's a lie. I know better. Well, what's the verdict, boys? The prisoner is guilty of an unjustified killing of a peace officer, Sheriff. Doing his duty. Thanks. This may not be stylish and fancy, kid, but it's the nearest thing according to law and order west of the Pecos. Amigo, he is so young to die. Sam Bates wasn't so old either. I told you I'd see you swinging for what you've done, and it's going to happen now. You hold the winning hand, Sheriff. I'm ready. They hand for murder. I copied Breed Hawkins' confession. What, what did he confess? I said they hang men for murder. I didn't kill a deputy. Which deputy? Uh, I was referring to Sam Bates. I guess I kind of got Sam on my mind. I think you would have. Reed Hawkins said you killed Sam Bates. He lies! Reed killed a deputy and I... All right, Joe. Bring him out. Jack Stone says you killed Sam Bates. Why, you killed him. Huh. We've been playing. That's right. I haven't any more confession than a jackrabbit. I thought you were in the holdup, but I figured the Pecos kid killed the deputy. Your bad conscience tipped me. I was thinking of a dead stage driver, and you had Sam Bates on your soul. Nobody's going to hang me. I'm going out. Take care of them, Joe. I've got work to do. You've got time to say a prayer if you want to. Well, goodbye, kid. Give my regards to Sam Bates. I was wrong about the Pecos kid. Come on, get your horse, man. We've got to find him.
What's the matter? Couldn't you find the kid? We found them all right. And left them hanging where we found them. I'll remember every one of you as long as I live. Well, you've got another necktie party waiting for you at the bank. Dax Stone and Breed Hawkins are there. What are you driving at? The Baker's kid didn't kill Sam Bates. Reed Hawkins did it. Well, come on. We've got a chore at the bank. I'll remember every one of you as long as I live. Hi, you. Reach for it. Bart Morgan. keeping a date with you. And I'm hoping to meet up with Lightning Bill Carson soon. Oh, he didn't say anything about expecting you. Your name's first on my list. You? You the killer? El Vengador de Corpus Christi. And I give all of them the break the Pecos kid didn't get. Reach for your draw.
A card for every man that's been killed. And each was in the sheriff's posse when the baker's kid was hung. You got any idea who it is, Bill? I've got a pretty good idea. If I could only find an ace, I'd know. Here's your ace. I found it on the sheriff. Well, I got my wish. And he paid pretty dearly to get it for me. The sheriff was number one on the list. And that means I'll rate the king. That ace has been clipped. Now I know who's scattering about the Pecos kid's deck. There's a kind of monument to him. You mean you know who's doing it? Remembering what's happened to the Pecos kid, I'm not saying anything that I'm sure. But whoever's left of the sheriff's posse can expect to shoot it out of the killer. I ought to warn him. Go ahead. that your two partners for dinner all this time. But the man is her. Come take him into the house, quickly. I said I had to be sure. Well, I am. You know who it is? It's Silent Tom Rand. I traced him to the kid's deck. The cliff faces. Well, why should Tom be mixed up with the Pecos kid? The Pecos kid and Tom Rand were brothers. And I don't blame them for going loco. And they both got a raw deal. You bet. Well, boys, better be hitting the trail. I want Tom Rand. You can count me out, Bill. And it ain't because I'm scared. Well, if you boys don't want to do your duty and bring him in, you lay your badges on the table. According to his reasoning, Tom's only squaring accounts. You mean he's taking his revenge? Vengeance doesn't belong to him. That's an instrument of providence alone, and no man has to assume that privilege. Tom gave him a chance. All their wounds are in front. Perhaps you won't mind warning the others who to be on the lookout for. We'll try and find them and tell them who it is. Well, I know where one of them went, and that's where I'm going. When Tom keeps that date, he'll find me waiting. Oh, I don't blame you boys too much. But the fellow that said white horses were lucky was a liar.
My father will return to our sundown. You've been so very kind. You are going? I have a long ride and little time. Soon it will be twilight, senor. But you prefer to ride at night. I prefer to ride tonight. And to hide by day. Senor, you are both the hunter and the hunted. And you boast of killing. I am so sorry for you. You do not follow a good trail, my friend. It will lead you only to death. usted con Dios, amigo. Travel with God, friend. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Senor Carson is riding this way, amigo. If you have reason to fear the marshal, I will help your escape. Now the marshal and I are old friends. I'll be glad to meet him. Counting aces low, I've been saving high card for you. It's your move, Tom. Slow on your draw, Bill. You were never known to miss before, Tom. There has to be a first time for everything. 